Hey guys, so today I have a very exciting video for you and this is going to be my perfume collection 2021. I hope uh, you enjoy this video. I haven't done one of these for a while and my perfume collection has changed quite a bit so I thought that I would show you. So yeah, I hope you enjoy guys. Make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, drop me a comment down below and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and we better get into this video. Right, so I'll show you little clips of my perfume collection now. I'll roll it here. So I have two little trays of perfume. The first one being my more inexpensive kind of everyday perfumes being this tray here. And then we have this tray here, which is more my fancy going out more expensive perfumes plus a bunch of samples that have just fallen over. So to start off with, I have a bunch of these little tester things these i don't really count as uh, my actual perfumes it's just things that get through the post and so on so i've got carolina herrera good girl which i love uh that is one of my to go to's now i will be buying that as soon as i use uh, some of these <laughs> also dior poison girl another one of my faves um i've got victor and roth flower bomb which i've got a big version of uh, I've got uh, a Paco Rabanne Olympia Blossom, which was uh, is a new one, I think, just out. We've got Valentina Donna Born in Roma Yellow Dream, which I haven't smelt yet. Got another Victor and Roth Flower Bomb, as I said, one of my favourites. I have the full bottle there. Uh, we've got Black Opium by YSL. This is another one of my favourites. I love, I'm going to buy when I can. And then we've got Idol by Lancome, which I haven't smelt, so I couldn't tell you. Right, so we're gonna start off with the first little tray and that's these ones right here. I've got four little mini samples and then a, another little sample there. So we'll start with those, then we'll go on to the other ones. So the first mini one that I've got is Jimmy Choo by Jimmy Choo, the very standard first fragrance. This has notes of, the top notes of pear, mandarin, orange and green notes. Middle notes are orchid and the base notes are toffee and patchouli. This is a really nice smelling perfume. It's not particularly one of my favourites because it's not so sweet. I love sweet scents as you will probably begin to tell by my perfume collection. Uh, but this is still a really nice uh, kind of like in between sweet and not sweet if that makes any sense. <laughs> Uh, the next mini one is Jimmy Choo Fever. This is one of my favourites. Um, I really, really like this and we'll be buying a big one when I can. Uh, this one's a lot sweeter. Uh, the top notes are plum, literally. I'll put them all here. And grapefruit. The middle notes are heliotrope, vanilla, orchid, jasmine and orange blossom. And then the base notes are tonka bean, benzoin, vanilla, coffee, hazelnut and sandalwood so it's a very very sweet kind of woody sweet caramelly sweet smell if that makes any sense to you whatsoever when it comes to the bigger ones I'll be smelling them and talking to you through but these are little they've got little stoppers in and they're a pain in the ass so we're not going to go there sorry the next mini one is Jimmy Choo Blossom again this isn't one of my favourites I prefer it more than the original Jimmy Choo uh, this one's a little sweeter. The top notes are raspberry, red berries and citruses. The middle notes are sweet pea and rose and then the base, nut, base notes are white musk and sandalwood. So the musk, the musk and the sandalwood kind of breaks up the fruity floraliness of this which is why it's not one of my favourites is because it's, it doesn't pack the punch of sweet. It gets cut through and it's a kind of nice everyday perfume. And the very last mini Jimmy Choo shot sample is the Jimmy Choo, what? Is the Jimmy Choo Low, uh, which the top notes are hibic hib wow. The top notes are hibiscus and bergamot. The middle notes are peony and nectarine. The base notes are musk and cedar. So again, this is more of a really fresh, slightly fruity smell, which again, isn't one of my favorites. The next one of my little samples is this Ghost Deep Night perfume. This is uh, quite a affordable perfume. Also one that smells really nice. It's kind of your more cheap perfumes that are good for every day. This can do day and night, it's great. Um, so the top notes are Night Blooming, Cerus and Rose. 
middle notes are woodsy notes, peach and apricot, and then the base notes are vanilla, musk and amber. So again, it's got that sweetness, that seductive kind of ness in this, but it also works well as a day perfume. So going on to one of my favourites when I was younger, this is Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift. I liked the Enchanted Wonderstruck better, but this is the one that I currently have. Um, the top notes are raspberry, blackberry, tea, apple blossom and freesia. Middle notes are vanilla, honeysuckle and hibiscus. I honestly am sure I'm saying that wrong, but we'll go with it. And base notes are peach, sandalwood, amber and musk. Um, I just, it's just like your typical, I don't even really know what it smells like, I'm terrible. It's sweet, but not too sweet. It's like a, a subtle, sweet, musky fragrance. We have Pink Sugar by Aquilina. This is a well-raved perfume. Everybody and their mother has this. Mine is very discolored now. Uh, but the top notes are raspberry, orange, bergamot, and fig leaf. Middle notes are cotton candy, licorice, red berries, strawberries, and lily of the valley. Base notes are caramel, vanilla, musk, tonka bean, and sandalwood. This is literally just sugar in a, in a bottle. Everybody knows how this smells, even if they haven't smelled it. They know it's just really, really sweet. Um, it's also not too overpowering though, which is really nice. Um, very, very inaffordable, in inaffordable, <laughs> inexpensive. Get it from Amazon, I think it's literally about 20 pounds for a bottle this size, which is extremely good. Um, oh, it's just sugar, caramel, candy floss. You just get it all with this and it's great. So the next one we have is Angel Nova. This is the newest Angel fragrance. I really enjoy the original Angel. Um, but this is the Sweet Sister. This oh, this thing is, like, if you thought Angel was great and you still like Sweet Scents, this is to die for. Um, yeah, amazing. Can't really say much else. Top notes are raspberry and lychee. I'm honestly really not sure how to say that. I apologise. Middle notes are damask rose, which I guess is just rose. Base notes are ag agagala wood and benzoin. Right, none of these, apart from raspberry, sound like they'd be nice. However, together they create this and it's amazing. Um, if you haven't smelt it, go and smell it. It's really sweet, really fruity. Still kind of got the underlying smell of Angel, but it's just, it's just the sweeter version of Angel and it's great. So we're getting on to my cult favourites. This is Nina by Nina Ritchie. I've had this perfume, not this specific one, but I've owned this perfume for years and years and years. It has been one of my favourites, still is to this day. I love it, Ben loves it. It's an all round winner, this is great. Um, the top notes are Almafi Lemon, Lime. Middle notes are Granny Smith Apple, Praline. Praline, Praline, sorry, I didn't have to say that really. Uh, peony and datura. Base notes are apple tree, musk and Virginia cedar. This is sweet, it's citrusy, it's fruity and it's grown up. This is like, I mean when I was a kid I used to wear this and think I was like the bomb but honestly I still love this perfume to this day. It's one of my favourites. As you can tell, I'm like halfway through. I'm trying not to use this so much because I've worn it for so many years, but I do love it. It is, it's just one of my favorites of all time. I love it. Right, so going on to the very last tray. This is where we meet expensive and bougie, especially this one. Right, so the first one that I have is Dolce & Gabbana, the only one. This is, I have this little 10 mil spray, which came in the, gift box um, and then the 50ml perfume I think yeah um, this I bought without smelling but I love it so we're fine um, I bought this after Kathleen Lights was saying how much she loved it and how amazing it was and I bought it I just thought why not I looked at the notes the notes look great I do love it I do love it it's good it's a very good perfume right so the notes of this so you've got top notes of violent <laughs> violent wow of violet, bergamot and orange, middle notes of coffee, pear, iris, orange, blossom and rose, and then base notes of caramel, vanilla and patchouli. The caramel, vanilla and patchouli really, really break through on this one. Um, oh, it's literally, it's kind of like, 
it's like sweet with a little bit of sourness if that makes any sense it cuts through and it makes it so nice yeah it's ugh, it's caramel sugar vanilla but with the hint of like citrus which i think is what it is <laughs> if i describe that what well, bergamot and orange citrus so it's like yeah it's really sweet the citrus comes through it balances it makes it really nice and really not mature just sexy and woman you feel like a woman when you're wearing this and she, mm -hmm. kathleen said that if you wear this you'd be stealing a man and i mean you're capable of it with this thing on not like you ever would but you're capable of it the next perfume we have is victor and rolf bonbon right now i love this i love the smell of it um cannot fault the smell it smells like caramel and sweet and sugar and i love it however this thing for some reason for some reason doesn't last at all in fact you have to spray it about 50 times for you to be able to smell it as soon as you spray it um i'm very very disappointed this is not a cheap perfume if you know victor and rolf also not one of the more expensive ones but <sighs> I'm disappointed very very disappointed it doesn't last whatsoever i don't know if that's just on me or if that is the trend with this but flower bomb which i love we'll come to that next it's got a lasting power of anything and i like my perfumes to be long lasting majority of them apart from the cheaper ones are long lasting they will last forever this thing <sighs> disappointed in you you let me down <laughs> But oh, it smells amazing. It's sweet and sultry and I love it, but it just doesn't last. So the top notes are peach, mandarin, orange and orange. Middle notes are caramel, orange blossom and jasmine. Base notes of amber, sand, sandalwood, guac wood and cedar. So woody, sweet, amazing. You just don't last <laughs> at all. You barely smell. So we have probably my second favorite perfume uh, of all time this is victor and rolf flower bomb this is what i was uh speaking about with bonbon so this is one of my favorite perfumes as i said probably the second favorite um i love this I had this for years again not this specific bottle but i've been wearing this perfume for years again expensive it's victor and rolf but you get what you pay for with this thing uh this thing packs a bunch it lasts forever um <laughs> And the top notes are tea, bergamot, and um, os osmathus. Wow, well, I'll put them here. <laughs> Middle notes are orchid, jasmine, rose, freesia, and African orange flower. Base notes of patchouli and musk. It's the patchouli in this, which is just, it's like sweet floral. And it's one of those, every single time I put it on, Ben is always like, you're wearing Victor and Rolf. And I'm like, yes, yes, I am. It's amazing. It's such a distinctive smell and I know everybody has it, but it is honestly one of my favorites and I think it gets sweeter when it's on my skin. Um, I know perfumes mix differently with some skins. I think it gets sweeter on me and I love it. It's, as I said, one of my favorites. Highly, highly recommend if you like sweet, florally, fruity smells. And last but not least, we have my favorite of all time. This is Replica by Maison Margiela. This is the By the Fireplace scent. Um, <laughs> it says that the province and period of this was Chamonix in 1971. Fragrance description is burning wood and chestnut and a style description is female and male, and male fragrances. Uh, it's a unisex perfume. Um, I absolutely adore this thing. This thing is the most expensive perfume I own. <sighs> I want to say it was a hundred pounds yes it was a hundred pounds um which now looking at my boyfriend's perfumes or aftershaves this isn't expensive at all he likes the 200 pound aftershaves rest in peace my bank account uh this thing is still if you are used to buying your regular perfumes this is expensive um however highly recommend it do it spend the money this is sweet it's smoky it's amazing it mixes with your skin differently when i wear this it starts off smoky it goes so sweet like caramel warm warm caramel with a hint of like 
a fire, love it. Whereas with Ben, this stays more smoky. So depends on your body chemistry to how this reacts with you. But the top notes are cloves, pink pepper and orange blossom. Middle notes are chestnut, guac wood and juniper. Base notes are vanilla, peru balsam and cashmere. So as you see, warm, sweet, smoky wood. That's honestly the only way I can describe it and it is my favourite perfume of all time. You only need one or two sprays, this thing is strong. Packs a punch, stays forever. There goes the smokiness. So you get, you get a hint of smoke first, but it's like a sweet smoke and then it dies down and it's just sweet. Amazingness, it's delicious. It's honestly the best smelling perfume I have ever smelled in my life. Uh, yes, that's it, that's, that's it, that's it. That's all I have to say. Buy it, if, if you like sweet scents, then buy that perfume. You will not regret it, I promise. <laughs> Right, that is the end of my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, drop me a comment down below, and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.